Welcome back to your Daily Dose. I'm your host, Alizé, and this is a Daily Dose where you already know we stay doing the most. If y'all have not hit the subscribe button, definitely hit it. Um, <clears throat> Look, y'all, I know I've been gone for a while, but I just want to be real transparent with my subscribers, with my supporters. I want to let y'all know that I wasn't feeling like posting. Um, I'm going to keep it a buck 150. I've been going up and down in my mental health and also my physical health and I'm trying to you know basically take it day by day by being more productive um I want to let y'all know that if you haven't for people who have subscribed to the channel for people who um have uh or like new people is what I'm saying I have I am bipolar okay I have borderline personality disorder, and I also have major depressive disorder. If you don't know what that is, you can look at my older videos, or you could just go and look it up on your own time. Um, <clears throat> so some days I don't really feel like doing certain things. It's been a lot going on in my job. It's just been a lot going on mentally, you know, and I just haven't been feeling like myself lately. And I want to apologize for not posting, but I want you guys to also see me. I, I thought that, you know what, I don't want people to see me like this. I don't want people to see me when I'm down, see me when I don't want to do the things that I want to do. I want you guys to see what it is like to go through depression, what it is like to have bipolar disorder, and what it is like to go through it, especially like on an everyday basis. Um, I do take medication, okay? My medication that's prescribed to me, uh, this is Fluxetine also known as Prozac, so I do take medication. I also take Latuda, which is an antipsychotic medication, okay? I take this for my evening. I take this in the morning. So um, for a lot of people who have seen my past videos, for my old subscribers, the ones who have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you do know that I did say, oh, I don't need medication. I don't need to take this. I don't want to say that I'm relying on my medication, but I do notice a difference in my mood when I do take my medication on an everyday basis versus when I don't. OK, um, I haven't had a manic episode in a while. If you don't know what that is, go look it up. But I do want to let you guys know I have I have trouble staying consistent. OK, and I've procrastinated a lot in my life. And that's why certain things it takes me a longer time than others to get things done. Sometimes my mind is on, you know, something else. I get distracted and I'm not using this as an excuse because it's not an excuse. Staying consistent, you have to discipline yourself. And, you know, it has been something that's been happening to me for a while now. And I just want to be honest with you guys and I want to be open with you guys. I am going to come out with videos um, talking more about uh, manifestation, understanding the law of, you know, assumption being able to really ground yourself within the law of assumption because I have a lot of people who are either emailing me or messaging me and hitting me up and saying hey Alize, you know I've been focusing on this and I've been doing this and it hasn't happened and I'm gonna just be honest with you you're not allowing the law to work for you okay you're not you're not giving it you're not giving it time you're not letting go you're just simply fo fixating on the fact of it has to be this way. It has to change immediately. It may take a longer time. It may not take a longer time. It just depends on your conception. It depends on what you're doing on an everyday basis to <clears throat> allow this to manifest. The, the, the thing about it is that manifestation, I just want to get this out the way real quick. Manifestation, it's already done for you. You just have to put in the work. You have to show up. And showing up means you have to put in the work. You have to be the one behind, um, not behind the scenes, but you have to be the one doing it is what you need to do to prepare for your manifestation. You have to put in the work. The work is you focus, focusing on your self-conception, you listening to beliefs at night, you, whatever helps you, scripting, meditating, whatever, building that self-confidence within yourself, building that esteem within yourself, to, you know, to prove to yourself that, you know what, this is mine. The universe has already said yes to me. We psych ourselves out when we focus so much on our egotistical point of view. I want it now. I want it this way. 
It doesn't happen like that. Manifestation is about you letting go of control, allowing it to naturally be. The law of assumption, once you assume the wish fulfilled, it will manifest itself. But back into what I was saying. Um, so I have myself decided to, I made a very, very big decision um, a few days ago. And I do want to let you guys know, I am a pre-diabetic, so I do have pre-diabetes. You know, um, now I really don't have an appetite. I feel like I don't know why I don't have an appetite because normally when I am going through my depression, I do eat a lot, but I don't have the appetite to want to go and eat. I don't physically, I'm not really feeling the best. I did work out very tired afterwards. I've gained a lot of weight. I got to lose it. It's a lot of stuff that's going on, but I want you guys to go with me through this journey of, you know, self-love, of self of self-acceptance. So I want to put a video out. Even when I'm not feeling my best, I will put a video out for you guys. I will let you guys know what I'm doing. And when I do get comfortable enough, I will start to record myself going to the gym or just doing workouts at home. And you guys just being able to see the things that I do, you know, because it's been a while since I've been on here. And I'm sorry, guys, you know, a part of me, sometimes I give up when it comes to manifesting. Sometimes I just throw in the towel. But one thing I have decided to do was allow God to come into my life. I allow God to take the lead. I'm allowing God to just, just, I give it to him, you know, at this point. I cannot do this by myself, okay? Also, I do want to let people know I am not religious, okay? But I do believe in God. I'm not religious, but I do believe in God, okay? So, I just want to get that out the way, but I want you guys to be able to see these experiences that I go through, whether it's good or bad. I know that there's a lot of people that show you the good things. I want you guys to see behind the scenes right now. If you look at my fucking room, my room is terrible right now. Like it's just everywhere. And when I get depressed, I feel like my greatest escape is just sleeping. But I told myself, even when I don't feel like getting up to do something, I need to be productive. Even if that's just working out for 10 to 15 minutes, even if that's just going out for a walk, even if that's just meditating, I need to do something that's going to be productive because I can't just constantly keep going and just getting deeper into this. And I want to share this with you guys because for anyone who's going through depression, for anyone who's going through, who has a mental disability, please understand that you are not alone. Please understand that you are welcome to this channel. This is a self-love, self-growth channel. This is a, a community where we come together with one another. We can help each other in the comments. You can put down whatever you're going through. Someone, either myself or someone else will reach out to you. This is a channel of self-growth and self-resilience, okay? So let's really do good um, and let's just try, okay? I'm not saying if, if, if you're working on your health, try to eat an apple. Today, I'm going to eat some apples. Um, I'm going to try to eat. I don't feel like eating. Honestly, I don't have an appetite. I've never felt like this before, but I just want to let y'all know that I'm going to, you know, um, I'm going to be doing some work behind the scenes. I'm going to be posting videos of me going through a layout of the law of assumption, understanding the law of assumption. I'm going to be showing you guys what I do versus just so you guys don't think I'm talking out of my ass because I want you to just know, you know, but it's not going to be an easy journey, guys. It's going to be difficult, but I'm here with you and I know you guys are here with me. I love you guys and I just want to just be honest with you guys, okay? So I hope y'all like this video, um, like, comment, subscribe, share, share this with somebody who's going through something. <clears throat> but to even go back into what I said, I'm not saying this as an excuse. You have to be consistent. It's hard for me to be consistent because I do, um, sometimes I lose focus of what's important versus something else that's not important. You know, I'm always somewhere else or doing something else or you know trying to you know I, I be on my phone I talk to people but you know I'm going to give myself a break kind of just you know have those inner conversations with myself try to really get deeper into who I am 
I'm going to be sharing daily journals with you guys. I'm going to be sharing my daily journal with you guys. I'm going to have a playlist that's specifically about daily journaling. Um, I'm going to be also doing videos on meditation to help you guys guide you through meditation. I'm going to be doing videos on that, a playlist on that. So I want us to go through this journey together. Um, and we're really going to be talking about physical health. I'm going to be taking you guys when I go shopping or when I get food, the kind of foods I'm going to be doing, you know, I just want us to grow together. Okay. Um, I need y'all support more than anything. So Please understand that this is just me being really honest with you guys, okay? I'm trying to get my mental health together. It's a lot, all right? Peace. Oh, happy cancer season.